Here's a hidden CDJ feature that might just change everything. Because as long as you analyze your music in Rekordbox for your CDJ setup, this is a CDJ 3000s here, and that is what this feature works with. As long as you analyze your music in Rekordbox, it's great. You get waveforms, you get beat sync, you get all the stuff that you've come to expect as a modern DJ. But if you don't analyze your music in Rekordbox first, before you put it onto a USB, if you just throw a load of MP3s onto a USB drive, plug it into these units, as you'll know if you've ever done it, you get a very different experience. It's an experience that hasn't changed for well over a decade. You just see a list of files and you click load. And that's a little bit lame in this day and age. And so DJs have been screaming for these units to give you onboard analysis of local files on a USB without having to analyze them in Rekordbox first. Now, one of our community members, Brian, upon seeing our report that this now has Beatport built into it, because that's the new feature that's in the version 3 firmware on the CDJ 3000s, went and did some sleuthing and kind of thought, well, if it's downloading tracks from Beatport and analyzing them on the unit, surely it will do them for local files as well. And so Brian told us that it does. And so we had to go and test that. Now, I've asked Pioneer DJ to tell us about this as well, because it wasn't in any of their PR. Uh, and as soon as they get, get back to us, I'll update the article that this video is part of. So if you're watching this on YouTube, click the description underneath to go to the article and see any updates we've got. But for now, we don't need Pioneer DJ. We can test it ourselves. Here is a blank USB, and I'm going to plug it into the computer here. And you can see it's blank because it's this one here. Nothing on it at all. I'm going to throw a couple of MP3s on which are some two mp3s that would be very hard to beat mix normally. There's a piece of drum and bass and a house track here. And then I'm going to eject this and I'm going to throw it into the CDJ 3000 that I got here. Right, so normally you would just see, there we go. Normally you would see this record box data not found for optimum performance, use record box, right? This is standard stuff. There's a Pioneer folder on there as well. This is a clue. Right, let's go down there and load this first track. Now watch carefully what's happening on the screen here. Soon enough, we start to see a waveform appearing here. And better than that, which is brand new by the way, we've never had waveforms appearing here before. Better than that, you can see along the bottom here, it's populating the whole waveform with the track. So while it's doing that, let's head over to the other unit, which of course these are linked. Again, record box data not found for optimum performance use record box, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then I can load the other track onto here, this one here, onto this unit. Let's just start one of them playing. Now what I want to test here is whether the beat sync function works. So over on the other deck, it's still analyzing this track. It's, uh, it's a nine minute track, so it's taking uh, 30 seconds or so to analyze it. We can see that it's got the waveform of the first track playing over here, just like it would if these were properly analyzed. So I've got the kind of parallel waveforms that you get on the CDJ 3000s going on, which is really cool. And I'm gonna press the sync button. And this is a one, two, two track. This has been analyzed at 85, it's drum and bass. So I'm now gonna press the sync here and it's immediately put it in the same tempo. And this is utterly new and exactly what happens with record box analyzed tracks. So despite the fact these tracks are completely different, BPMs, tempo, genres, etc., etc., uh, I could probably beat mix them absolutely fine without even putting my headphones on. I ain't gonna win any awards as a beat mix, but you can hear it's holding the beats together absolutely fine. It's beat synced. And I could do anything I wanted with those two tracks now, just like I could if I was using record box analyzed tracks. So there's the proof. It does work. It's loading the waveform data, it's loading the BPM data, and it's letting you use sync across multiple decks. For the first time ever in Rekordbox, that is now a thing. Now we can test that. If I eject the drive from here, you can see what's going on. If you're geeky about this kind of thing, uh, we can put the drive back into here and have a look at what's on that hard drive, on that USB drive. So in here now, we've got our two tracks and in the Pioneer folder, you can see it's got analysis for these tracks. Here's the analysis data that it's made. And so 
There's two tracks and two little folders of analysis. If there are 100 tracks and I'd loaded 100 of them, they'd all be there. And this is the same folder that you'll have the analysis data for your Beatport tracks in as well, which is what Brian kind of figured out. Now, it doesn't appear to give you any key information, musical key information, that didn't appear in the key folder there, although the key, um, the key shift works, so you can do that. Uh, and there's no bulk analysis, so you can't just say analyze this whole folder uh, when you plug the USB in. Uh, you can't do that on Beatport either. Ha it's still much, much better to analyze your music in Rekordbox. It just is much better to analyze your music in Rekordbox. So if you click the little button, I think it's up there, uh, we've got a Rekordbox course that teaches you everything you need to know about using Rekordbox in your DJing properly. You really ought to if you're using CDJs. Uh, be a Rekordbox ninja, so do take a look at that course. Of course, it's still much better to analyze in Rekordbox, especially because Rekordbox has Cloud Library Sync and something called Cloud Direct Play as well, which means that you can analyze your tracks anywhere, on any computer, even on your phone on the way to the gig. Uh, you can get tunes downloaded to your phone on the way to the gig, etc., etc., and they all show in your library and you can access them all from networks. Uh, CDJs, which is pretty cool. It's definitely the future. However, there's always going to be those circumstances where someone gives you a USB with a track on it that they really want you to play and that you really want to play. Now you can plug it in, it will analyze it, give you the BPM information and you can sync it and do all the cool stuff that we've been looking at here, including I'm going to guess the beat synced looping and so on. Of course, of course, that's all going to work, which is really, really cool. Indeed, it's priceless. So another thing that this proves is that the CDJs can be meaningfully updated by firmware, as if we needed any proof of that because they've just added Beatport to them. They have computers inside nowadays, and so the speed of development of what these things can do is being decided by Pioneer DJ, not being decided by the technology inside them anymore. So this is Beatport now on these, this is onboard analysis, which presumably is gonna be improved, and then they'll announce it properly, but it's there already, and you can test it for yourself. So this is a new thing, and thank you again to our community member, Brian, for spotting this and letting us know about it. Onboard analysis on the CDJ 3000s for the first time ever, something that's gonna be hugely welcomed by a lot of DJs, I'm sure. This has been Phil here in the Digital DJ Tips Teaching Studio. Hope you've enjoyed this. Meanwhile, get good, get out there, make the moments, and we'll see you for another tutorial very soon.